Hi, it's Dr. Brian Heberlin here with Lexington ENT and Allergy, and I want to talk about the parotid gland and some masses and growth that can form within that gland. So we all have a gland in front of our ear that wraps over our jawbone and under our earlobe called the parotid gland. We have them on each side. The parotid gland's job is to secrete some saliva in the mouth. Now we have other glands, so it's not the sole producer of saliva, but that's its primary function. The parotid gland will produce saliva when we eat, so um, that's what makes our mouth water when we're eating something tasty. That gland has a tendency to have masses and growth that can form within it. Fortunately, most of those masses are benign, but they often do continue to slowly enlarge and grow, so even the benign ones need to get checked out. About 20% of the time those masses can be cancerous, and those cancerous masses certainly need to be removed and treated. So if you have a lump in the cheek area or even the upper part of the neck, that should be evaluated and worked up. The most common evaluation method we use is something called a fine needle aspiration biopsy and often a CT scan of the neck. The fine needle aspiration biopsy is where uh, a small needle is placed into the nodule which numbs it and then we draw some cells out. It's not an invasive really procedure, it's something quick and easy uh, and even the pain with it is fairly minimal. We're often able to tell if this is a concerning mass or one that looks more benign. Although some of those benign masses need to be excised, sometimes they can just be watched. So if you have a mass or lump in the neck, it needs to be worked up. So please let us know here at Lexington ENT and Allergy. We also can see some benign um, inflammatory disorders within the parotid gland. So the parotid gland has a duct system that is responsible for draining the saliva out of the gland and into our mouth. That duct opens up in our cheek just opposite the upper molars. That gland can have stones form within it, and so kind of almost like a kidney stone, it can have a stone that blocks this flow of saliva, and sometimes those stones need to be removed. It can have just a narrow area or a stricture of the duct, which can cause it not to drain as well also. Often those symptoms will be swelling after eating that then subsides over you know half an hour or so after eating. Massage, um, sucking on sour sugar-free candies can help flush some of that saliva through the, through the duct and can thin things out and maybe even sometimes allow someone to pass one of those salivary stones. We can also see infections in the salivary glands. That's not a really common thing, but we'll see that sometimes. Uh, you can particularly see that in elderly patients that are uh, not hydrated well, and mouth bacteria can get through the duct system up into the gland and cause infection. So if you see somebody with a lump in their cheek, it needs to get checked out. We certainly would like to see that here at Lexington ENT and Allergy and do what we can to help. Thank you.